Hi, everyone. Thank you for your interest in this webinar sponsored by Product School. My name is Miguel Sai. I'm a product lead at eBay. And I will talk to you about how to make sure you add value to your company from day one. A little bit about me and what I do. I work at eBay, a company that probably most of you know. If not, in a nutshell, eBay is a global online marketplace, a place for buyers and sellers to come together and trade almost anything. You may have heard something like eBay is taking control of its payments destiny. At eBay, and a product lead within the payments, risk, and protections organization, which is leading the charge to transform payments at eBay to improve experience and better serve our buyers and sellers. Within this all, my team is chartered with building RegTech product solutions. RegTech uses cutting edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, big data, cloud computing, machine learning, to name a few which ensure companies are more effective in reaching regulatory compliance. My team charter at eBay focuses on helping to meet regulatory compliance around sanctions, anti-money laundering, and counter-terrorist financing. My team was also recently chartered to build products to better protect our rich and dynamic marketplace by detecting and removing prohibited, restricted, and counterfeit items from the site or before they even get listed. It is a challenging but enticing assignment, especially considering that our job requires us to scope our solution to be able to serve 90 million sellers who have 1.7 billion with B live listings in a vibrant marketplace where we see more than 200 million new listings and revisions on a daily basis. Enough introduction, let's get into the topic. So if you are here, probably you are curious about the questions of how to make sure you add value to your company from day one. That's the topic of the webinar. So let's add some context to the answer. This slide summarizes the five points that I will elaborate in the next few minutes on how to add value to your company from day one. Although, before I go there, even before they want at your job, a good success plan for a product manager starts before you even join the company. What does that mean? It means that before you even get into day one, you should spend some time to get a high-level perspective of the sector, business, the product, and the competitor landscape. Without knowing anything about the internal business priorities, product or challenges, try to do this. Write down all the things you feel the CEO or company or the team should do in the next 12 months. The goal here is to build an outsider perspective before you, before you get biased by internal information. I assume if you have gone through the interview, you are already a customer of the product, hopefully. If not, is there any reason, any reason that you are not already a customer? You may not want to wait any longer because day one is coming. So here we are. Day one at the new gig. Hopefully fully charged and fully and full of energy because you will need it there will be excitement and curiosity on both sides. So you are not the only. From the first day on, your, on the job, be a sponge. That's the first bullet point on the slide. Soak information and document what's broken. To be successful from day one, you have the drive to know your product end to end. If you could not do it, if you could not do it until now, Sign up, sign up or find out a way to be your own customer. Use the product on your own and find what seems to be broken, confusing, or inefficient. Finances and document. 
challenging yourself to find what's broken or inefficient or an improvement opportunity will flex your problem-solving mus problem muscle and stress you to get a better understanding of the product you are now in charge of. Soon, as day-to-day -day work, work takes over, you will move farther away from day one. But having the curiosity of day one is critical. If you work for a publicly traded company, you should, by now, before day one, read your latest earnings reports or take case. If you are working for a private company, learn about the company's mission, vision, the goals, OKRs. From day one, you should be on top of what are the, compa what are the company goals and how what you are working on align to them. Work with your manager to, clarif to, to clarify your first 30, 60, 90 days goals and expectations. And if your manager does not have a plan for you, create one for yourself and share with your manager for approval. You have to be curiously confident. Ask questions to learn team and company cultures. Learn about what is said and what is unsaid. Asking team and company culture will give you cues on how to navigate the landmarks. Be organized and take copious notes, which you can refer to even when you are a veteran. Share your observations for others to add and validate on your learnings, or just to go and refresh back. Moving to the second point. Make connections with other PMs and beyond that, with other key partners. Wire yourself into a strong network that will boost you farther ahead. Learn what other teams at the company are doing. Meet as many stakeholders as possible. Spend no less than 20% of your time in the first week to meet people. Each time you meet someone new, make it a point to ask them who as you should meet. Add at least three people from each meet and greet. Identify areas of mutual interest to build trust and rapport. Make a list of potential advisors who you can go back for guidance as needed. Understand what the cross-functional teams are doing and how they work. Ask yourself what are the similarities and differences between your team and the other cross-functional teams. Third point, understand the process. Invest time in learning more about the process around the product team. How does quarterly planning work? How do cross-functional stakeholders get notified? How are product okay set? In short, invest time to learn about the process and timeline before the next quarter starts. Interview internal stakeholders understand what pain points they have concerning product or process. This is when you clarify what expectations they have of you in your role. Next point is uh, about performing competitive analysis. Understand what the different options are both new and existing. For those new, Try to find out trends and innovations in the product you are responsible for. Where the industry is going, both regarding products and technology. On the existing part, if you have not done it yet, in order to compare effectively, you will need to go deep in your product. Sign up to be the customer or schedule deep dives with, you, with the UX and engineering teams to understand your product inside out. Understand why we build what we build. What is the customer value it is providing? What is working and what is broken? Speak to customers. Organize a customer listening session. Identify their pain points and expectations. In doing so, think about the highest ROI opportunities where those 
precious dev resources should get spent. And then find out what are other businesses similar to you doing? What can you learn from others that even in different business may be facing similar problems? Finally, connect the dots and come with your product plan. Connect the dots and create hypotheses. Reflect on the notes from your various interviews, research, and listening sessions. As you review your notes, you will find patterns that will lead you to create your hypotheses around how you might create impact in the coming months. As you embark in validating your hypotheses, don't forget to champion your team's progress. And continue learning from successes and mistakes. Learnings add value. Through these five points, I just took you for a journey to focus on transferring the learning from you to your organization. Now, I'm leaving you with these main takeaways. First days on the job are critical to building your brand. Second one, make sure you watch yourself to create a foundation that will boost your impact. And the third one, understand your, understand your role in the organization and the metrics what matter to maximize value generation. You only get one chance to make a good first impression, so make it count. Thank you for listening. Keep commenting and add more tips so that others can benefit. Thank you again.